This video will show you how to use short multiplication using one digit numbers. On the screen you can see a multiplication where a three digit number is being multiplied by a one digit number. 387 multiplied by 6. To carry out short multiplication I must label the columns that I'll be using. So because I've got a three digit number I'm going to label the columns hundreds, tens, and units. Now that I've got those columns labelled, I can write out 387, making sure to keep each part of that number in the correct column. So 387. I am multiplying this three digit number by 6. Because 6 is a unit, I must also write that in the units column. And finally, I'm going to add in a multiplication symbol to show the relationship between these two numbers. I'm going to leave a gap and then use a ruler to draw a horizontal line to separate this part of my short multiplication from my answer. The reason for leaving this gap will become clear in the next step. For the first part of completing the short multiplication, I must look at the units 7 multiplied by 6. 7 multiplied by 6 gives me an answer of 42. Because 42 is a two digit number and there is a 2 in the units column and a 4 in the tens column to represent 40, I cannot write this number out in the units column. I must instead write the 2 from the units down here as part of my answer and the 4 from the 40 must be written here. This will then become important for the next part of the multiplication. Before I solve the next part of my short multiplication, just make sure you understand how I have written out the 42. The 42 has been partitioned into 40 and 2. The 2 has been written here in the answer part of the units column, and the 4 to represent 40 has been written in this part of the tens column. For the next part of my short multiplication, I must look at the tens column multiplied by 6. This means 80 multiplied by 6. Because I know that 8 multiplied by 6 equals 48, I can use my place value knowledge and knowledge of the 10 times table to work out that 80 multiplied by 6 must equal 480. However, 480 is not the final answer for the tens column part of the short multiplication. I've still got to use the 40 that was part of the units multiplication. What I've got to do with this 40 is add it on to the answer here. This means completing 480 add 40. This gives me an answer of 520. This gives me an answer that I can now use for 520. However, I must again partition it into its separate numbers, the 500 and the 20, in order to fit it into my short multiplication. So to represent the fact that there are two tens, or 20, as part of 520, I'm going to write a 2 in the tens column. To represent that there are 500s in this number, I'm going to write a 5 to show this just here. I'm now ready for the next step in my short multiplication, looking at multiplying the hundreds column. This means looking at 300 multiplied by 6. I know that 3 multiplied by 6 equals 18. So again, I can use my place value knowledge to work out that 300 multiplied by 6 must equal 1,800. As with the tens column though, I've got an extra number in the hundreds column that I need to use, the 5 that is currently representing 500. This means that I must add on 500 to my answer of 1,800. So 1,800 add 500 equals 2,300. I can now use this number as part of my answer. To represent the 300 part of 2,300, I'm going to write a 3 
at the bottom of the hundreds column. Finally, in what would be the thousands column, I can represent the 2000 part of this number by writing a 2. My short multiplication is now finished. I've got an answer here of 2322. So this must be the answer to the original multiplication.